the bell icon to turn on notifications. When you launch Excel, it's going to open up by default in something that we call the start screen. And you only ever really see this screen in this configuration, this exact layout, when you launch Excel for the first time. So let's take a quick look around at some of the things that we have on this page. Now notice over on the left hand side, we have three icons, home, new and open. And currently I'm clicked on the home page and we can tell that because it's highlighted in dark green. So what do we have on this home page that's going to be useful to us? Well, look at the section at the top called new. This is where we can go to create a new blank workbook or maybe select a template. And the templates that you can see running across the top there are ones that I've created. So these are my own personal templates. And if you cast your eyes over to the right hand side of the screen, just under those templates, you can see that there is actually a link to take us to more templates. Now it's worth noting at this stage that within Excel, there are hundreds of office templates that are free for us to use. And I'm going to talk to you more about templates and how you use them and even how you create your own in one of the later lessons. But for now, just know that if you do need to access the fuller library of templates, you can click on the more templates link from this home screen. Now underneath our new section, we then have a recent and a pinned section. Now, this area really allows you to access files that you've opened and used recently. And you'll see underneath the recent list, this is basically all of the files that I've been into over the last couple of days. You can see the date modified column. I've been into most of these files either today or yesterday. Now, the amount of files that you see listed in recent is really dependent on what you have set up in Excel options. But the default for recent documents is 50. And I'll show you a bit later on how you can modify the number of recent documents you're seeing in your copy of Excel. So this area is really great if you just want to quickly access something that you've been working on recently. Now, one thing to remember about this particular list is that this is what we call a dynamic list, meaning that it's going to change all the time. So as I open new documents, those documents will appear at the top of this list and the ones at the bottom of this recent list are going to kind of fall off the end. Now, if you have a particular document that you want to use all the time, so maybe it's something that you go into every single day and update and you want to make sure that it doesn't start moving down this recent list, you want to pin it to the top of the list so it's permanently available. Well, you can do that. So let's take this second document in this recent list, the document called lookup functions. As I hover my mouse over that file name, notice over on the right hand side, we get this little pin icon. When I hover over it, it says pin this item to the list. So if I click the pin, that item is now pinned in recent, and I'm also going to be able to find it underneath this pinned section. And there you go, there it is. So again, this makes it super easy for me to access. So that's what we have on this home page. Let's jump across to the next icon, which is this new icon. Now this is where you would come to create new workbooks. So again, we have something very similar to what we had in the new section on the home page. This is where we can quickly create a blank workbook or we can access any templates that we've created. And once again, the ones that I've created and the ones that I use are at the top of this list. Now, if we scroll down, this is where we can find our template library. Now, notice again that I have two headings, office and personal. Now, the office section is where you go if you're looking for a particular template. And all of the templates that are available in Excel are categorized. So it might be that you're looking for a business template or maybe something related to planners and trackers. Maybe you want to create a household budget. So you're looking for all of the budget templates. Notice underneath where we have the search box, we have these different categories just here. So if I click on budgets, it's going to search through all of the templates in the library and just present me with all of the templates that are related to budgets. Let's click the back arrow to go back. 
What about if I want to actually search for a template as opposed to looking or browsing through each of these categories? Well, I can click in the search box and maybe I'm looking for an invoice template. I can hit enter or I can click on the magnifying glass to kick off that search. And there we go. We have all of the templates which match the criteria that I've specified. So super simple. We're not going to select a template at this stage because we do have an entire lesson on templates. But just for now, make sure that you know where you go to access them. And I'll also talk a little bit more in that lesson about what this personal section is and how it differs from the office section. Let's move down and select the next icon. So this time open. This is where you can come to open any workbooks or folders. So if we've created a workbook previously and we've saved it to a location on our PC, maybe to the documents folder or maybe to a OneDrive cloud storage folder, and we want to reopen that, this is where we would come. So every time you want to open a file, come to the open section. And this is just showing us a list of different locations that we can open files from. So currently I'm clicked on recent and on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that I have recent workbooks showing currently. So again, these are the workbooks that I've used most recently. If I want to open any of them, it's simply a case of clicking and it's going to load up that workbook in Excel. What I also have here is folders. So this is going to show me any recent folders that I've saved into. So again, all of this is here to help us access files quicker. Underneath recent, I have a couple of other storage locations that I have access to. So two OneDrive accounts effectively, and I can open files from my cloud storage from here. And I can also choose to browse this PC. So if I'm more comfortable going to File Explorer and working my way through my folder structure, then I can definitely open files from here as well in that way. Now, right at the bottom of this menu, we have three little options here, account, feedback and options. So if we click on account, this is where you're going to find some useful information related to your account. You can see your user information at the top. So this is your login credentials for Microsoft. I can choose to change my account photo. I can sign out of my account and I can also switch account from here as well. If I do have multiple, I can choose an office background from here and also an office theme from here as well. So if I wanted to, I could change my office theme to black. We've also got dark gray, white, and of course, colorful. I can see what services I have connected from here as well. So in general, I usually have OneDrive connected so I can save my files and also a SharePoint site. And if I want to add or connect up any new services, I can do that from down here as well. And on the right hand side, I just have product information about the version of Office that I'm using. So you can see here that we are using Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2021. This is also where I can come to check to see if we have any updates available for Office. So very useful to know where this is. Underneath the account section, we have feedback. So this is really if you just want to send some feedback about a particular feature of Excel to Microsoft. So you can do that if you choose to. And then finally, at the bottom, we have options. And this is a really important area and one we're going to dip into and dip out of throughout this course. I'm not going to go into this in any great detail at the moment, other than to say this is where you come to customize how your copy of Excel works. So this is effectively all of your settings. You can set up auto save from here. You can check what language you're using. You can customize your ribbons and even create your own ribbons. You can modify the quick access toolbar and turn off and on different add-ins as well. Now I've just scratched the surface there with the types of settings that you can change, but make sure that you know where Excel options is because we're going to be coming in and out of here a lot. Now, if I click on cancel, notice what happens here. It doesn't take me back to that start screen. And if I click on the file menu, I don't get exactly the same screen. So I get things that are fairly similar. I've got home, new and open at the top here, but I have some additional options underneath which weren't part of that start screen. Now, remember, I said at the beginning, you only ever see the start screen in that particular layout when you launch Excel for the first time. So if I close down Excel one more time and click 
to reopen it, there I get back to my start screen. So just remember that. So that is the start screen. Make sure you're familiar with it and you know where to go to create new documents, where your templates are, and also how to open files and check your account settings. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.